Hi friends, in this lecture we will study about linear differential equations. So how to find out the general solution of a linear differential equation. So this is the fourth shortcut method to find out the pi. So f of d of y equal to p of x is the general form of a linear differential equation. So in first method we are studied about in case of e raised to ax. So in case of e raised to x we are replaced d with a. So second one is either sin or cos and the third one is x raised to m. Now this fourth method is e raised to ax into v. e raised to x is common v where v equal to either sin or cos or x raised to m. So in case of this pi equal to 1 upon f of d into e raised to x into v. So write down this e raised to x this side and replace d with d plus a. What is a? a is the x coefficient in exponential function. So after replacing this d with d plus a we are continue with either second method or third shortcut method. Second method is sin or cos in case of this we are replacing d square with minus a square in case of x raised to m means we are converting into in the form of 1 plus phi of d or 1 upon 1 minus phi of d so and continue with either second method or third method See one example in this. 1 upon d square plus 4 e raised to 2x into sin 2x plus 3. So move this e raised to 2x and replacing d with 2. So 2 is the coefficient of x in exponential function. Similarly in this 1 upon d square plus 3d plus 2. So in this x coefficient is minus 1. We are replacing d with d minus 1 and simplifying and continue with the x raised to m method. See one example. So solve d square y by dx square minus 4 dy by dx plus 3y equal to e raised to x into sin 3x. For any method cf is complementary function is common for all methods. So first of all you have to write down this is in operator form. So have to put d square by dx square equal to capital D square d by dx equal to capital D plus 3 of y equal to e raised to x sin 3x. So equating this f of d to 0 that is auxiliary equation. So m square minus 4m. So either write m square minus 4m plus 3 equal to 0. So this 3 can be write as minus 3 into minus 1 uh, m minus 1 into m minus 3 equal to 0 from this we will get m equal to 1 comma 3 so these two roots are real and distinct roots so therefore cf is c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to minus 3x now pi so pi equal to 1 upon f of d f of d is d square minus 4d plus 3 into e raised to x into sin 3x now move this and replace d with d plus coefficient of x in exponential function. Coefficient of x is 1. So d plus 1 whole square minus 4 into d plus 1 plus 3. So expand this and simplify d square a plus b whole square d square plus 2d plus 1 minus 4 into d 4d plus plus into minus minus 4 plus 3. So this is d square 2d minus 4d that is minus 2d. So 1 plus 3 4 4 minus 4 is 0. So e raised to x 1 upon d square minus 2d into sin 3x. Now we are continuing the second shortcut method that is 
d square is replaced by d square is replaced by minus a square so a value is 3 minus 3 square is minus 9 so minus 9 minus 2d sin 3x so we have to take here minus common so write down 2d plus 9 so after that we have to take the rationalizing factor of this 2d plus 9 and multiplying numerator and denominator with 2d minus 9 so 1 into 2d minus 9 2d minus 9 now again it is in a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square 2d whole square that is 4d square minus 81 again here d square is there so replacing this d square with minus a square so that is minus 9 so we have to replace this with minus 9 so 4 into minus 9 minus 36 minus 81 that is minus 117 now multiplying this 2d into sin 3x so 2d sin 3x minus 9 into sin 3x so 2 into d means d by dx derivative of sin 3x so derivative of sin 3x is cos 3x into 3 so 3 into 2 is 6 minus 9 sin 3x so we have to take here 3 common and cancel in this 39 times so therefore e raised to x into so here minus also there right here minus e raised to x into 2 cos 3x minus 3 sin 3x upon 39 therefore general solution is y equal to cf plus pi so write down the value of cf and pi see one more example solve d square y by dx square plus 6 dy by dx plus 9y equal to e raised to minus 3x upon x cube again write in this in operator form that is d square plus 6d plus 9 of y equal to e raised to minus 3x upon x cube so auxiliary equation is we are equating this f of d to 0 so that is m square plus 6m plus 9 equal to 0 if you are if you will get m equal to minus 3 and minus 3 so these two roots are real and equal roots therefore cf is or yc you can write down yc also yc or cf so that is c1 plus c2x e raised to minus 3x now pi equal to 1 upon f of t that is d square plus 6d plus 9 into e raised to minus 3x upon x cube so now we are replacing this d square or d so d is replaced by d plus a a value is minus 3 so that's why we have to replace d equal to d minus 3 so d minus 3 whole square plus 6 into d minus 3 plus 9 into 1 upon x cube if you are expand this so d square minus a minus b whole square minus 6d plus 9 multiplies 6 into d 6d minus 18 plus 9 so minus 6d plus 6d so 9 plus 9 18 18 minus 18 is 0 therefore only d square is there so 1 upon d square into x raised to minus 3 so this value is right in numerator so 1 upon d means integration we have to integrate this x raised to minus 3 two times so that's why i have to write 1 upon d into integral of this integral of generally x raised to n means x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 n value is minus 3 so x raised to minus 3 plus 1 upon minus 3 plus 1 so x raised to minus 2 upon minus 2 again integrate this 1 by d means integral so x raised to minus 2 plus 1 upon already here minus 2 is there so minus 2 plus 1 if you are simplifying you will get this therefore y equal to yc plus yp
that is the general solution write the value of yc and yp so solve these problems thank you